we're chasing dries again on a different lake. Same result, little different method. See how we're doing it. We are tracking down some fish. He has to stand on that chair a little, get a little higher. He's no cheech. Gotta get the cheech eye view. I was expecting a, a jab from you on that one. Here comes the cheech eye view. Well, if I get this tall, then I'm like cheech, but the boat sits a little higher, even though I'm standing up like this. It doesn't sink down as much. All right, I see some risers. Oh, there was one. Let's leave that fish. So we got a dry fly and a dropper, which is a coronamid. Dropper. Dropper and the dry fly. The trusted bionic. Guess hands. what? The bionic. If you haven't picked up the bionic cutters and you tie flies, they're good. Also, link below if you want to buy them pre-tied. It's a shameless plug. Shameless. Oh, there he goes. Okay. We're watching for the take. What? Ate the dry fly? What kind of craziness is that? Oh, he's running. <laughs> We've got rainbows, tigers, and a bunch of cutthroats. I'm limited on my camera angle, so we'll see Lance fighting the fish. The fish. Lance. There goes the fish. Roped him. Roped him. So one of the things to note here, we got here in the morning, did see some fish working surface film, not taking dries right off the surface, but we tied on the dries and really got into fish quite right off the bat. And it's kind of been that way all day. Had a good time. Dry flies and droppers. I've caught some on damsel droppers. Lance has been using the uh, unweighted coronamid. And we're fishing kind of shallow water. Very shallow. Which a lot of times uh, you may not know, I mean, you may not even see fish rising. But if they're in there, they got to eat. And sometimes they'll eat on the surface. So don't be afraid to try it. Like Lance here, steps back up on the captain's chair. See that fish that's chomping out there? Well, I'll take your word for it. Let's go see. Oh yeah, there's a fish eating. There's one closer. Let's see if they'll come eat. Here he comes, right for it. He's eating. Try to do it. Boom. <laughs> Dry fly. Dry fly eater, huh? You know, this, this ain't too bad. If you guys live near a lake that has trout in it, go throw dry flies at them. Nice cutthroat. On the old bionic. So one of the things that's really interesting about what we've been doing with these dry fly fish is that a lot of where we're catching these fish on dries is really shallow, like I would say less than six feet. In here it's probably four feet, three feet. Uh, a lot of times when you fish lakes, you have a tendency to always want to fish deep water. The old, when you're on the bank of a lake, you always want to cast out as far as you can. In this case, most of the boats on this lake are way out in the deeper water and we're up here in the shallows just catching fish left and right.
dropper. Our dropper eater. It's a good reason to have the dropper on. We're still pretty shallow. Really shallow, like yeah. two feet. Two feet, feet of water. Feet. Yeah. We're starting to find out what Cheech feels like when he's in the boat, except he's not used to this fish on feeling. <laughs> nice old rainbow. They're eating coronamids for the most part. Gotta manage your stuff out there, Curtis. No, I don't had a hit. Don't let them swim away I'm with filming, your flies. And I got fish eating my flies. Not Stay idea. tuned. Can't even set my rod down for a minute. This fish was sipping everywhere, just sharking all over the place. He ignored my first cast, he ignored Curtis's cast, kind of looked at his flies. He made a third or second cast to the left of him, and he slid over and sucked in the bionic. Nice cutty. Really pretty green color. Yeah. Yeah, you can see him a mile away. That's a decent sized chunker. Long. There he goes. Long. Wow. Well, we're seeing some calabatus and a few chronomids on the surface. I assume that's what they're eating. But they don't mind eating the ant once in a while. But they are opportunistic. They're only trout after all. Nice. That one ate the bionic. He's gone. Curtis Fry here. Switched over my damsel to a midge pupa. Had two hits right off the bat. It's a rainbow fish. Rainbow trout, he says. Rainbow trout. Get his head up. Well, what was the magic, Curtis? Just that midge pupa dropper still from the bionic. Beautiful rainbow. Oh, nice catch. Take two. Like Brady to Gronkowski. Cheech and his raiders wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Not bad. Not too shabby, beautiful bro. There he goes. Another one on the dry. It's a little later in the day, the wind has picked up, the sun has gotten higher. Fishing in the shallows slowed a bit, so we moved out just a little deeper. Not very deep, it's probably five or six feet is all. Instead of two or three. And hey, is it old whitetail? It's another white tail. This one's not as long as the last BYU fan. And I dropper even got him in the white tail. Good looking fish on the dry find. Adios, Cuddy. Thank you for your participation. Dry flies tapered off. So I threw on the midge tip. What else? And we've been catching a few. Damsels and coronamids. This one took a damsel booby. So what's your setup like, Curtis? I've got a damsel booby on point. In the middle, I've got an unweighted damsel with the same stuff as the balanced damsel material, and then a chronomid up top. So three flies, midge tip line. Ah, uh, he's a little chunker. Booby eyes. Rainbow to go with it.